Hello everyone and welcome back to another Brawn of Liberty video. So I have already made a video about what contract missions are, but it was for low level and I didn't really like understand the end game of contract missions. But now I do understand why you should do your contract missions every single day as an end game before, because my other video is more like a level 10 low level video, but this is about the end game level 50, why you should do your contract missions. So basically contract missions here is missions you can do, it's daily missions, it's the yellow mission. So when you go into your quest log, this will be the yellow missions here. Um, basically you can get them from these people here, which have these icons here, contract manager. It looks like a, some kind of like paper. You can find them in low level cities, which will give you low level missions, which you don't want as max level. But basically here, watchers post, it can give you max level contracts and as well, um, this place over here, Cannon Village. I'm sure there's so Cannon Village here can give you missions where you have to kill like werewolf people over here or orcs here. And over here, Watchers Post will probably give you missions around here. But I have a few tips around what you should aim for when doing this. For example, some of the most important thing people say is you always, when you get to level 50, you always want to try get to your weapon to get it to level nine. So basically if I press P, you can see here's my weapon and well, let's switch. Here must wait. You can see right now it's level six. When I press start, I get into the upgrade menu where I can click on my web. So you can see level up my weapon and I can upgrade my weapon. Great. Oh, this one is good. This is really good. Nice, 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 nice. But now you can see I need six more before I can do another upgrade and I need to get my weapon to level nine to be as best as possible in this game. So how should I get more of me my upgrade tokens? Well, contract missions. So basically you find a contract manager guy there. I hope I've made everything clear now. Contract missions, daily missions, do them from Watchers Post, do them from Canine Village. When you get max level, there's probably other places you can do, which I'm not haven't discovered yet, but these two places are good. So, and they will also first unlock when you're level 49. You can't do from them first when you're 49. So now you can see here, this guy here gives me all these different missions. But as you can see, oh, this mission here gives me my upgrade tokens for my weapon. Amazing. So what I want now is I want upgrade tokens for weapon. So I'm going to take this one here, accept. What you can do then is you can see is the other upgrade is the other missions for my weapon mm, no refresh then you will click again and see here is the other weapon missions aha there is one there accept and then you can see that was the only one on the page refresh you can only refresh if you actually take one so you can be so unlucky that there's no weapon uh, missions on the list and then you have to pick one of them but i mean it's not bad because then you pick the armor one or you know like a crafting material it, you will always get something that is good um some people i know they also like to do the missions the same area you can for example see here this one here is a mission where you have to get items in faunus basin so basically up here. So they go like, okay, this one is for us. This is in ruin. So they don't want that because they don't want to go to different places. They just want to have them all in the same place. And then they just like only takes the one that is in the same place. So you can see Fornos Basin. This one is in Fornos Basin. This one is in ruin. So you don't want that. Fornos Basin. So there's different ways. But I mean, that shouldn't be your, that shouldn't be, you know, your prioritize. You should prioritize and getting the items you need. So for example, crafting materials, upgrade books to upgrade your spells. Um, yeah, upgrade your spells, upgrade your weapon, upgrade your armor, crafting materials. Again, you can get all these different items from the contract managers, which is very important. And what you do then is you go into press H. You can see here that you have all your missions here and you can, you know, clear all pins, pin them. So now they all like tracked. And we can see the one here in the rear that I picked, this one here. We can click on here. Where is it? Okay, it's here. What did I have to do actually? I had to use Ina's light and retrieve shining light fragment. So basically I have to go down these up, these positions down here and do whatever I have to do. Once you finish it, you basically just press H and click complete here in the bottom. That's it. 
and then you can go to the guy here again and get new contract missions. So again, my old video just basically told you on how you can do this and get like low crafting materials, some upgrade tokens, which you should do. This video is more focused on telling you as a max level player, you should do these contract missions every single day to get these materials you need. For example, first of all, get your weapon to level nine. Get all these weapon growth stones here. Take the missions you can find, refresh, take weapon missions, refresh. You can refresh unlimited. You just have to take at least a mission on the page. You can do 10, you can see down here, contract rights. I can currently do 73 because I've just been doing my main quest. The main quest gives you a lot of additional tries. But once I have done them all, like, let me say, like, imagine I get this down to zero. I've done all the contracts now today. I'm gonna play for the next three hours and just do contracts. Then I get it down to zero. Good, okay. Now it's down to zero. Now every single day, I will get 10 new, which, so every single day I log in, I could get 10, 10, 10, you know, like 10 every day. You can maximum keep up to 60, which means you can leave your computer for six days, have 60, come in, do all your 60 missions. I mean, it's gonna take a lot of time. I don't <laughs> know if you want that, but, you know, be away for three days, then you have three missions you can do and just go in and do them. So basically this game is respecting your time in that sense that it says, hey, it's okay, you you don't play every day, come back in six days and do 60 missions, come back in five days, do 50 missions. But if you're gonna be away seven days, you're gonna waste 10 missions. What's gonna be, boy? So, you know, like that's basically, and you can only have five active at the same time as you can see down here. So you have to do five, go back, take five again, Five, 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 five. Uh, another good person told me, if I have two missions up here, three missions down here, when you've done your two missions up there, teleport back to the city for free, you know, by just by clicking here, there, teleport, then take other weapon missions now again here and go down here, because there could be a chance you would get some more weapon missions down here. When you didn't finish all the weapon missions here, teleport back, take all the weapon missions again, even though you still maybe have one up here, two up here. And then, you know, you just keep refreshing that way by teleporting every time you finish the rear UI and you don't have any more missions there. Teleport back to the city, get all the weapon missions again. The same with your armor, do all your armor missions, teleport back to the city, and so on. I hope this, I really hope this video was helpful for you because when I discovered this yesterday on my stream uh, with some nice people helping me in the chat, uh, I was like blown away like, wow, okay, this is actually how contract missions is supposed to help you by doing them daily, getting upgrade your weapon first, getting upgrade your armor, getting that ni um, nice crafting materials because you need these crafting materials to create, for example, items. Um, so sometimes you are so lucky that some of these missions will give you purple items. There's some, something like there's like a back purple epic pack. That one can give you random items. So when you open it, it can give you like a lot of different nice stuff. When that one comes, I, I highly suggest to, you know, take it because that's going to be um, a nicer little thing for you. So um, again, contract guys, find them in every big city. I recommend going to either Watchmen's Tower or going to Cannon's Village if you're max level because, you know, these are max level missions, which is going to give you the best rewards. And uh, you can do 10 every day. You can have five active at the same time. You can store up to 60, 60 points in total, which is basically six days. So that's how you're going to upgrade your weapon and armor in a nice, fast way, efficient way in this game. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And if you want to watch me live stream this game and be able to ask me any question about this game, find me on twitch.tv slash dvalin, D-V-A-L-I-N, and I will answer all your questions. Hope to see you on the stream. Bye.